Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we will be making a Super Mario's Piranha Plant. I know, I'm pretty excited, been wanting to do one of these for a long time, so let's get started. <coughs> We're going to start with the pot and the stem because they're super easy and they're on the ground, so why not? So you're going to get a cone. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees or actually 180 because we want to go completely around. And just like always, we're going to maximize the sides here. That's pretty easy. And this right here is already 20 by 20, so you don't have to do anything. But we're going to change the height to 8.75. 8.75. Great. Now we're going to go to the top radius, which is usually behind my head. And we're going to change that to... Eight. There we go. See? Already looking awesome. So, <clears throat> we're going to change the color because why not? It looks better that way. We're going to do the same thing with the top part of the pot. The rim, if you will. And I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. And just move it up a little bit. I'm going to change the, the numbers here just a little bit. I'm going to change this to 2452, 24.52, and 24.52, and the height's going to be 4.58, 4.58. All right, that's not bad. Now, <clears throat> the, let's see, this part right here is, you know, going outward, so we're going to change the setting, so we're going to go over here behind my head, and that's going to be changed to a 9. There you go. Now I'm going to select both of these, click the letter L, and then align them here and here. <clears throat> Let's drop this to the floor. That way um, you can be you can have an exact measurement. I'm going to try to move this up. Uh, let's go to 6.5. So I'm going to move this to 0. 0.5. So I'm going to click on the black arrow and move it 6.5. 6.5. There it is. All right, we're good so far. Now we're going to create the space under here, and that's always obviously going to be a whole cylinder and we're going to not really do anything with that except align it Con you know i'm going to select everything click the letter l and there we go now the height we're going to move this up a little bit 8.5 so let's grab the black arrow move this 8.5 all right looks like we're good to go and we just need to maximize the sides on here again and group control G all right so that's looking good and in fact if you can see this right here you can see that I did not maximize the sides on the the whole cylinder the first time I did this but it looks a lot better here all right so we have this part now let's build the stem we're also going to be going with another cylinder let's go ahead and rotate that 180 degrees I do want you to notice that this cylinder here is tapered going up, so it gets smaller as it's going up. We're going to change the size of this thing. Mm, let's see. Let's do at the bottom. It's going to be 6.3 on either side. 6.23 uh, by 6.23. And we're going to make this height, what is that, 20.89. Well, it's almost like that. That doesn't look right so here's what we're going to do we're going to maximize the sides right behind my neck i believe at this point and the top of my head we're going to change this to a radius of eight this is the top radius of eight and let's change it to green too otherwise it's not going to look cool and you can see there did i rotate this incorrectly i think i did let's change it back my bad my bad Again, let's align it, control everything, or select everything, and let's align through the X and Y, okay? There and there. Okay, we're aligned there. Now we're gonna grab a sphere. Let's go ahead and maximize the steps and change the color. Now the, the height for this one is gonna be 7.24. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this a shortcut. I'm gonna hit the shift button, hold it down and drag it. Now, this is telling Tinkercad, hey, I want all of it to be the same exact uh, dimension. So now that I've told Tinkercad that, 7.42, I hit enter. 
and it didn't work. So I'll just enter it the rest of the time. Usually it just makes everything the same exact height as um, the original measurement, but it wasn't there. So, okay, I'm gonna move this up a little bit just so that it's around here. I'm gonna select these things. I'm gonna click the letter L and, oh, I missed it. Click the letter L and this one is off. All right, so far, not bad. Do I wanna move it up? Do I wanna move it down? I don't know, that seems about right. Okay, all right, so we did the first part. Now to part two. Part two is gonna be the leaves, okay? The leaves are going to be something special because I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. First, here's the difference. And the first way I'm gonna show you, you're gonna have this curvature that goes, see, I want you to see under here, it curves in this direction. And if you rotate it, it curves in this direction. The second way I'm gonna show you only curves in one direction, not in both. So that's the issue. It really depends on what you wanna do, but let's go ahead and get started with that. So <clears throat> the leaves, we're gonna start off with the sphere. Of course, we're gonna maximize the steps, but we're gonna also make this 33 all the way around. And uh, barely missed that one. Okay, so Here's the deal. We're gonna get a cylinder. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees so it's on its side. And I think I chose the wrong side, so we're gonna rotate it again. Oh, and you know what? I need to maximize the segments, or no, the sides on this one. All right, so here are the dimensions that I want you to have for the sphere. It's going, to, I'm sorry, for the, for the whole cylinder. It's gonna be 50 by 50. So 50 over here, whoa and 50 over here. Okay, now that's huge, right? Well, I'm gonna rotate it because I want it to be like that, okay? <clears throat> now, let me check this. The height is 20, yep, that should be fine. I keep looking at the wrong, I'm looking at my dimensions here and it says 50, 50, yeah, that's fine. So now I'm gonna rotate this so that it's you know at a better angle so i'm going to change this to 25 let's see how that looks 25 and i'm going to drag it up and i'm going to drag it up let's say 12. okay 12 we just dragged it up 12. now here's the thing we have to align these two so we're going to select both click the letter l and i want it to align in this direction all right so we're good now, if you haven't noticed, we have this big chunk at the bottom here. It's a big chunk. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab a whole cube and I'm gonna just make sure that everything is covered at the bottom. Oh, a little bit sticking out there. <clears throat> Anything sticking out over here? A little bit. So I'm just gonna move that with the arrows. Great. Oh, but then it does that. Don't want that to happen. So uh, I'll move it down a little bit. But again, I don't want it to cross that. So let's see. How is that? That looks good. Now let's uh, group this and see if it works. I'm gonna hit Control G. All right, nothing extra. We're good. Let's make it look more like a leaf by changing the color. And now we're gonna get a whole cylinder. Let's change the dimensions of the cylinders to, um, I believe for this one, it is gonna be nine by nine. Yeah, so let's just go ahead, nine by nine. And let's just make it as tall so that it goes through that part right there. Okay, so that's great. <clears throat> this part of the leaf, we're just going to um, put four on this side, four on that side, and make it look as much as we can as a leaf. So that one a little bit there, and oops, there. Okay, I wanna get a top view of this thing. Let's focus on that and let's get a top view. All right, so this is where you can adjust it however you like. And I think this one should be closer to the center and you'll see why when I start making this. Oh, and you know, here's something I didn't, I haven't adjusted. I wanna make all, <clears throat> each one of them, I want the sides to be maximized because I want there to be a smooth curve. All right, so based on this, it looks fine. So I'm gonna select each one of these 
I'm gonna duplicate, which is Control D. Then I'm gonna hit the letter M on the keyboard and click this arrow. Now I'm gonna hit Shift and the arrow key to move it over here. That's too much, so I'll move the arrow key in the other direction, and that looks a lot like a leaf. But let's see, let's just make sure nothing, oh, I want you to check this out. That right there <clears throat> does not look like a leaf. So I'm gonna, you know, I clicked away. Now I'm gonna move this one a little bit to the right. Oops, that is a lot to the right. I'm gonna move back and then I'm gonna change this to point one right behind my body in the snap grid, just by point one and over here. All right, now I'm gonna select it and see what happens. Control G. Ah, a little bit is still sticking out. So I'm going to undo. And by the way, the first time I did this, the same exact thing happened, which is why I'm super aware of that area. All right, let's try it again. Control G. Did it work? Did it work? It looks like it did. Great. So as you can see, it's not a perfect leaf, but it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna change this. Maybe if you see this and you don't like it, this is how you can fix it. I'm gonna undo this and then I'm gonna undo that one. And this one I wanna move up a little bit. Oh, undo. <clears throat> I just wanna move that one a little bit higher. Now, does that affect anything here? Looks like it might there. Move, the, move this one. I just wanna make sure it covers everything at the bottom, which it still doesn't look like it is. Okay, now it has to, cause it's sticking out. Ooh, that's a tough one. Is this gonna work? Let's try it. And let's move this out of the way. All right, so let's select everything, Control G. And did it work? Uh, yeah, looks okay. Uh, I'm missing a little bit over here. Can you guys see that? So that's how you would fix that. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna show you the other way. Come on, you can do it. Where'd it go? All right, let's just group it and see what happens. All right, so that's one way. I, uh, again, you know how to take that out, so I'll just leave that there for right now. But yeah, let's put that right there let me show you the other way okay so the other way of doing this is by going to the shapes library go to shape generators and then you're going to get this one right here which is called the extrusion now the extrusion you're going to change this right here right there and i'm wondering let's just go ahead and look at it from above and these right here in the corner It changes the shape based on how long it is. So, you rotate it a little bit. Again, you want to, you want this to look like a leaf. So that's our goal here. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit wider because it doesn't look like a leaf in, when you're doing it this way. So now I'm gonna rotate. Uh, let's see, let's rotate it this way, 90 degrees. And I just missed 90. There it is. Now I'm gonna rotate it 90 in the other direction. And let's make this a little bit longer. Let's say 40 for right now. All right, not bad, right? And I think, yeah. Let's do the same thing we did before with the other leaf. I believe this was, again, maximize the sides. Nine by nine. And the height really didn't matter as long as you can go through this thing. Okay, so here we go. I'm already, I think this is way too big. So I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna drag it over here. So let's go ahead and put four of these, control D for duplicate, control D, duplicate and control D. All right. And for this one, I'm just gonna maximize or try to make this a little bit bigger because I, I think my overall leaf and Again, you're making your own leaf, so go ahead and you know change it the way you want, but this is the, the method that I would say is the best for a quick leaf that looks good. You don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. After I select all of them, I'm gonna hit duplicate and then click the letter M for the mirror tool, and I'm gonna hit shift and arrow to move it quickly to the other side. All right, I see some openings here. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. 
get rid of those little extra spaces like right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's move it down a little bit and let's rotate this one because I want to cover all the areas, right? You don't want anything extra here. All right, that's not bad. I want this over here and drag this over here. All right, let's see what this looks like. Uh, again, let's make it green. And I hope you, you know, choose the path or the way that you would like to see it. All right, so now I'm gonna group this, Control G. And aha, not bad, but there's some extra parts here that I can get rid of. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Control, uh, I'm gonna do Control Z. And because I'm gonna be lazy on this one, I'm just gonna do this, oh, wrong direction. How is that? All right, that's not bad. I'm gonna hit shift, drag this over here. I'm gonna duplicate this and drag it over here on this side. And then I'm gonna hit duplicate and <laughs> went over there. That's too funny. I wanna get rid of something over here. All right, I think that I got all of them. Oh, that's too much. That should work, control G. Did it work? I think it did. So again, there's two ways to make a leaf. That's another one. I'm going to rotate this uh, 45, I believe. And then I want to rotate it the other way, 180. And then put it over here. And as I said before, let me do undo that. And let's group this and drag it over here. As I said before, one leaf is going to be curved in one direction in one plane, but the other one's gonna be curved in two. So whichever leaf you wanna do, that's fine with me, up to you. All right, so now we're gonna to go to part three. The part three is the head, which is the most complicated part of this creature. So let's do this thing. Okay, we're going to make this into, first of all, maximize the steps. So let's make this 33 by 33 all the way around. I think you guys can handle that part. <clears throat> and we're going to start off with making the circles around this thing. So let's make this red because obviously it's red. Let's make this maximize steps and then make it white. Now, whichever size you want to make this thing, the, the, the white things, the white spots on it, it's up to you. Really up to you. So let me rotate this. And then I've had some students say, well, Mr. Amparo, I'm just gonna leave it like this, right? Because I, I was talking to some students about the design and they're like, I can totally just make it like this and it'll be fine. Of course, what I wanna do is try to make it as parallel as I can to the, the side of the sphere that it's, that it's touching. And some students are like, oh, this is fine. I'll leave it like this. But it looks super, super cheesy, kind of cheap, kind of like you weren't even trying when you were designing this. And that's not, a good design when you you just want to be able to say hey, look that's the plant that's pretty cool but if you're like uh that looks like something that should be the plant well it's not as cool anymore it really isn't <clears throat> all right so here that's not bad but i think it's huge i don't i don't want it to be that big so i'm gonna look move the angle hit shift and hold it down that is more tolerable but I don't like the angle, so let me just move that over there. And then a little bit over here. All right, that's getting better. Oh, that's too much over here. Okay, I'm fine with this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Control D, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna move it all over the place. Now, you guys know where the mouth is gonna be. It's gonna go straight up, right? So, I'm gonna put spots all over this thing and just rotate until I think it looks fine. I don't know. Now, you do not have to worry about how far it sticks out. Your only concern really should be, is it parallel? to that particular part of the of the head. I'm gonna hit Control D and then the M feature, or the mirror, sorry. 
And then I'm going to hit shift and then drag it over here and see what happens. All right, I want to click the letter F to move over here and then I'm going to move for the arrow. All right, that's not bad, but I still need to fix it a little bit. All right, not bad. I'm going to hit control D again. I'm going to move this. What? Where did it go? Did I move it somewhere else? Oh, there's another one there. All right, let's just drag. Let's get a little bit closer. And um, there you go. I don't want to warp whatever I'm doing here. Yeah, that looks better right there. And again, it doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look like, you know, the piranha plant, which by the way, I saw when I was in middle school, I actually played this game. I know I'm old, but I'm also fat and bald. So, hey, what can you do? And let's put that right there. I think too many are in this plane right here. So I think I'm gonna drag some down. Control D and let's just drag this one down a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna say this is my last one, and then we're gonna go on with how to make it look better. Okay. We're fine with this, and of course, wow, it's missing something over here. Sorry, I lied. This is not gonna be the last one. Let's rotate over here in this direction. Much better. All right, that seems pretty random. Okay, so now here's how we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna duplicate this one, Control D, and I'm just gonna move it over here. Now, right now it's a size of 33. Let's make this a size 34 and 34 and 34. Now we're gonna make this whole. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Now we're also gonna get a, a cube and this cube is going to be 50 by 50 by 50. So I'm going to hit shift and just drag this up till we get close to 50. And then just put 50 here and everything becomes 50. I'm going to click the letter T to be transparent. <clears throat> now I'm going to group these two. Actually, before I group them, I'm going to hit align L. And I'm going to align it in all three directions. All right. Now I'm going to group it. Control G. Now I'm going to make this whole thing into a hole. Now here is where it gets interesting. Okay. I'm going to align these two, the ball and this cube. The ball and the cube. This is how I do it. First of all, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to select the ball. I'm going to hit shift, hold the shift button, and then the cube. This is very important that you follow these steps because if you don't, you might mess up these white little circles here. Now I'm gonna click the letter L, and now I'm gonna click this one. If I can just click on it correctly. I'm gonna click on that one. I forgot to do something. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. One more time. Clicked on the red ball, clicked on this one. Now I'm gonna click the align tool, and I forgot to click on the red ball because I don't want the red ball to move. It has all these white things on there. Okay, now there. And now I'm going to click here, which is going straight up and down. And the last one right there. Now check this out. I'm going to group everything now that's on here. Control G. There you go. Exactly what I want, except for, you know, the color. Let's change the color to multicolor. Great. Much better. We are on our way. Now I want you to see the spots are curved. So that's, it makes it look a little bit better. So now we're going to get the roof and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And we're going to change the dimensions. So let's pay attention to this. Let's go ahead and change this to 49 Oh, wrong one. Sorry. 49. And I want a height of 2464. 24.64 and then we're gonna make it a hole alrighty then now 
I'm going to move this. How far am I going to move this? Let's say I move it to try to get to the center. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to try to align this, but it's not going to be perfect because now our sphere is no longer perfect. There is other things around it. So I'm going to click here, uh, hold and click here, and then the L button. I just wanted to be aligned in this direction. Now, good. I, I'm checking because what if this thing were like halfway there? It wouldn't look good. Now the height, I'm going to move this just a little bit higher. I'm going to click away. I, I'm trying this for this to be near the center, and it might be right now, but I want it a little bit higher. Nope, a little bit lower. Okay, now I'm going to group these two. Huh, should I group it? Should I not? Should I group it? Should I not? Yeah, I'm going to group it. See, I'm going to work with the lips next. Okay. And I don't know if I want the lips to be here already or not when I group it, but let's just group it now and let's move on with it. So now we're gonna get the half sphere. We're gonna maximize the steps. We're gonna change the color to white. And then here are the dimensions for the sphere. Okay, it's gonna be 19. Oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be 30 here. I was thinking of the, the tongue that we're gonna be doing later, 38 and a height of 10. All right, so that should work, but you never know sometimes. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna align these two things. So I select both of them, click the letter L and align. Great, that's all that matters right there. Now I'm gonna change this to a 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna try to position it. Oh, did I move the alignment? I did. I want it to be right at the edge here. So let's go ahead and move this up. Didn't work. I'm going to hit the arrow keys to move this over. That is pretty big. That means it went too high. So let's go ahead and move this over. Still too high. Let's move it over and then I'm going to move it to the right. And uh, again, you're just playing this by ear. You're just checking to see what it looks like. Okay, and that's not bad. I know, I know, it's just weird. Okay, so it's not bad. It's just not excellent. I want excellent. So I'm going to move this to the left a little bit. And then, yeah, I'm going to hit duplicate, control D, and now I'm going to click the letter M, and I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to shift and move this over. Here's the part that I don't like right there. So let's go ahead and adjust that. I want them to end in a very similar location. So I'm gonna move them over a little bit. All right, that's not bad. It's just not great either. So here's what I'm gonna do to, I'm gonna focus on this right here to try to get them both to be exactly where I want. And over here, it should be the exact thing. Again, a little bit more, okay. And now I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to just drag them up a little bit. And a little bit more. I know. I think it's too fat, honestly. But here's what you can do. Should I do that? Should I do it? Should I do it? No, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to undo the this, uh, oops, the head that was grouped with this triangle over here, the roof. I'm going to undo that for a second. Now I'm going to group all of it like this. Control G and look what happens. The lips look a little bit better in that direction. But no, look at that. That does not look good. So I'm going to change this. And here's what I'm going to do. Come on. Okay, good. Here's what I'm going to do because I, I just don't think they look right. I'm going to hit both of them and I'm going to make them go up. That's going to minimize the amount. Actually, no, it's not. Wow. So again, I'm not sure if you saw the last video, but in the last video, I was in a situation where it did not look good. What I have here is the thickness. So to do this, I'm going to rotate this and I'm going to change that to five. No, let's try that seven. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to rotate this. 45, and then I'm going to change that to, oh, the height, to 7. Better. 
Now I'm going to rotate it back, 45. 45. Where is it? 45. And then this one, 45. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to move them up. Oh, but I did not move them up. That's what I wanted up. Wow. Those. Ah, I see what's going on. So the lips are now the thickness that I want, but the width is not cool. It is like way too much. So um, let's change this to 25 and I hope that's enough. And I want this to be further out this way. And I know the this one's gonna be, let's change that to, let's change that to 34. Ooh, that's risky right there. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Oh. Sorry about that. All right. So this was 25 and that was 34. And let's bring it over here. And back. Oh, wrong button. All right. So again, sometimes when you're designing these things, it just doesn't work out and that's okay because that's part of the process. I guarantee you, I spent several hours putting this thing together before I figured out a way to make it look like what I wanted. And let's go to 45 degrees here and 45 degrees there. All right, now I gotta move them both up and over. Let's just move this over first. I'm gonna hit shift and arrows, shift and arrows. Please let this work, because I would really appreciate it. And I'm sure you guys would appreciate a shorter video. All right. Are they aligned? Nope. All right, so here's the issue. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know there's so many issues and it's essentially just me. I'm the issue. Let's make that 40 and let's move it over. So again, all I'm doing is playing with these and you are perfectly fine doing this on your own too. That looks good. And I'm going to change this. And then you guys, regardless of what it looks like, we're going to move on. So I can show you the last parts and, and then you can adjust them however you like. That's too much, so I'm gonna hit shift, move that down, shift and down. Hey, that's better. And again, you guys, my apologies. I wish this were perfect, but it's not. So I'm gonna drag this over here. I'm gonna drag it down, then over here, and then drag it down. Oh no, that was too much. And I'm gonna rotate it less than 45. There you go. I think that's it. I think that's it. Whoa. Thank you for going on this journey with me. I'm going to hit Control G to group everything. And then the next part is the tongue. I'm going to grab this over here. I'm going to rotate this 45 and then drag it up. I'm going to make it a lighter pink. It looks better that way. And I'm going to hit Shift. I'm going to hold it down and then just drag this and then move it up. And that should be fine with that. Hey, it's even kind of centered. Okay, now the teeth. The teeth are just paraboloids. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna hit the shift button, move that to five. And then I'll move this up and over here. And I'm gonna rotate, oh, move this. Ah, oh, I need a better angle. Move this to 45, 45. And then closer and closer. I'm gonna duplicate this one and as you can see, all we're doing here is just making it bigger. Then we're going to duplicate them. And actually, let's move this over here, drop it down, and then move it over back a little bit. <clears throat> all I'm doing is just moving, duplicating, moving these around. And don't forget to subscribe because this video is almost over. And, uh, oh boy. Now, all I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to hit duplicate, click the letter M. And since I want to go in that direction, I'm going to click over here and I'm going to hit shift and move this over there. Look at that. That's so much easier. Now I'm going to hit shift in here and here and duplicate. And I'm going to click the letter M and I want to go in that direction. So I'm going to hit shift and the arrow keys and we are good to go. I'm going to group all of these control G and then drag my friends over here with the two different leaves. <clears throat> now the last part 
is going to be aligning these. Actually, it wouldn't work if you try to align these because this is not even. But what you want is to put this on here. Now, the question is, are you going to need supports for this? I'll tell you right now, the answer, yes, because there is nothing underneath here. Some of these points at the end of the leaves are going to need some supports. And after that, really, you don't really need supports for these things. It should be fine. But you are going to need supports if you're going to be printing this thing. And thank you for watching. I hope you have an excellent day. Thank you.